Hi there, I'm Sandy Allock, and today's page is based on a tutorial by Creation CC, a whole different take on hers, but I will talk a little bit more about that. The verse I will be journaling today is from Romans chapter 1. I pray that now at last, by God's will, the way may be open for me to come to you. And the day that I'm releasing this video is Mother's Day 2020, and this verse came to mind as I've been praying for my mom. She's living on the opposite side of the country, and I miss her. And we're going to have a Zoom call later today, and I'm very excited to be able to talk to her and see her. But I've been thinking about this verse because it's the year of the pandemic, and we're not able to see each other. And I thought, you know, in Scripture, that people weren't able to see each other willy-nilly when they wanted even probably more restricted than we are right now because they had to physically get there. They couldn't just jump on Zoom and do it. But I wanted to, to do something for this page. I had nothing in my head image-wise, but I saw a tutorial from Creation CC. She did this not as a Bible journaling page, but as a little painting. And she did hers with round shapes rather than leaves. So I decided to do leaves because I think about the view from my mom's window. She has beautiful trees out there. I have beautiful trees outside of my house. And I'm just going to paint these beautiful trees because I wanted to do something pretty for this verse. There's no other really great scientific reason or, you know, theological reason for doing this, except I just want to do something pretty. And they're really easy. So I've painted in some branches and just done that with some dark paint. You can use whatever color you want. I mixed some brown with some purple. And then I did the first layer, which was to take one set of colors. And Cece talks a little bit about why she chooses her colors, etc. And you don't have to get that scientific. You could do something simple like this. But I wanted to have some leaves that were different colors like she did. She used like a pinkish color with blue shapes rather than green shapes. So I have some that are sort of a peachy color. And then I mixed up a green. I used the the green that I have in my palette and I also added some yellow to it to just change the flavor of it. And I added a bunch of water so that it would be light. And these are super light colors for the very first pass that I'm doing here. And in between each one, I'm letting them dry and you can decide to iron them like I did if you want to flatten them out or you can just let them dry and then paint in the next layer. If you paint them while they're wet, they may mush together, which is also just fine. The next layer, I'm mixing a thicker paint. So I'm using more paint and less water. And remember when you rinse your brush and you bring it back over to get more paint, so if you're mixing two colors, then you're picking up more water from the, the water jar. So be aware that you're adding more water to the mix. But each time you add successive darker colors, you're going to get darker shapes as you have thicker and thicker paint. And it gives a look of dimension. So it looks like these ones in the background are lighter and the ones in the foreground are darker. And I just thought her tutorial was very, very pretty and very, very simple. And she suggested doing something like this for Mother's Day cards. Uh, you could certainly do something like that on a card. But I also just thought this was really beautiful and simple for a Bible journaling page. And one of the things that Cece does quite a bit is different kinds of very simple flowers and doodling exercises along with watercolor, which I love. Her style is very simple and very accessible. I really like her channel. And I don't do very many flowers here, you may have noticed. That's just not my thing. I tend to not put very many flowers or that sort of thing in my Bible because my pictures tend to be very specific to the verse. And there's not a whole lot of verses about flowers. So it's one of the reasons, but I'm just not also a flower painter, that's not my thing. But if you are, she is one who I would definitely recommend going looking through her channel. So I'll have a link in the doobly-doo to her channel so you can go see the other kinds of things that she paints and get some ideas for really gorgeous, very simple florals. So for mine, I'm gonna finish them off with a white pen. She used gold paint, I think, in hers. 
but you can use that. You can use black doodling and go to her channel and watch some of her videos and you'll see what I mean when I talk about black doodling because the way she does it, it's just very elegant and airy. It's not like outlining things, which I really love about hers. I want to do some more things like hers, but not with flowers. I'm trying to figure out what my spin would be on doing that. But this is one way to honor her work and share her with you and uh, get this page into my Bible. That will be really, really pretty for this verse. I chose to just highlight the verse itself using some green paint. And then I wrote Mother's Day 2020 down in the, the bottom. I didn't really have any other journaling I wanted to put on this. It was just a moment to stop and pray for my mom. Praying the whole verse for her, not just that, that whole group of verses, should I say. Not just verse 10, but verse 10 was the one that really struck me because it seemed so specific. Missing my mom, wishing I could be there with her to celebrate Mother's Day. So happy Mother's Day to you. I'll see you all again next week. Bye-bye.